This project uses logic circuits to decode quadrature signals. I created this little VB program to demonstrate how this logic works. And it actually helped me verify that this particular schematic actually works. I basically just took a schematic that I found online and cleaned it up so that it could be easy to describe how it works. But I had to be sure that the changes that I made would actually work. The two input signals on the left come from sensors on a slotted wheel. As the slots go by the two sensors, uncovering one at a time, the, the output of the phototransistor goes low. The slots are wide enough that the second sensor will be exposed before the first one gets covered up. So basically there are four states. One state is when both sensors are covered. A second state is when the first sensor gets exposed but the second one is still covered. The third state is when both sensors are exposed. And the fourth state is when the first sensor gets covered but the second sensor is still exposed. This circuit detects direction of rotation by which sensor gets exposed first. It also generates a clock signal whenever both sensors are exposed at the same time. The red numbers show the state of the logic at that location in the circuit. Each will just be a 0 or a 1 depending on what we do with the inputs. If I click on the input states I can get them to change. So I'm just going to clock things through to get it to a normal start state. Okay this is basically what it looks like when both inputs are zero. I'm going to toggle the inputs just like they would be toggled from the wheel as it rotates. If I always toggle the A input first, then the, the down output will be the only one that, that is uh, creating pulses on the output. When we toggle the A input, it just inverts to a second stage and then again to the third stage it reinverts. The NAND gate has ones on both inputs, so its output goes to zero. Eventually, the B input goes to a one, but it really doesn't change the outputs. Now, even when we change the A input to a zero, it doesn't change the outputs. When the B input finally goes to zero, making both zeros, then the down output goes to zero. If I click through this sequence a few times, you'll be able to see that only the down output is changing as I go in this direction. Now if I reverse direction and make the B input change first,
we can see that only the up output is going to change. So this is what we want. The output pulses appear on a pin that corresponds to the wheel direction. I can automate the process by pushing the clockwise button or the counterclockwise button like this. And we get a sequence that looks the same as if the wheel was actually rotating. In this case the down output is toggling continuously. Because I pushed the clockwise button. So I can stop it like this and of course I could also go in the other direction. And we'll notice that the up output continuously pulses in this condition. The secret to this circuit is the cross coupled NAND gates in the middle. Each of these NAND gates has two inputs. One is a signal and one is an enable. When the gate is disabled, the signal can't get through. Basically, the first signal to get there disables the other one from being active. This circuit is not actually a very good quadrature decoder, but it's hard enough to describe this circuit verbally without adding even more complexity. To demonstrate one of the problems, we can look at what happens when one of the inputs has a noisy transition and has multiple transitions instead of one clean transition. We get multiple clocks even though the wheel is not really rotating. It may be just rocking back and forth around one transition point. At one point, back in the days of power PCs, I designed a rigorously correct quadrature decoder, but it would take far too long to describe it with any kind of clarity. It is interesting though to try some of these solutions out and see which ones work or don't work or how well they work. Here's some sensor noise on the other input. Not everything you find on the net is going to work. I even found problems with some of the seven segment decoder stuff that I was looking at.